Okay, I am going to tighten down this lug nut with the Milwaukee brushed gun. This comes in most combo kits from Home Depot. And um, it was purchased in January 2019. And um, Okay. Now what I want to see, I want to test it against the rigid guns to see if this brushed rigid gun is able to back off the same lug nut that I just put on. This is the rigid gun that comes in most combo sets from Home Depot. Nope. Now, I'll move up to, this is the rigid brushless. This does not come in most of the combo sets. This is their higher end gun. Has the hyper octane battery, which is supposed to optimize the performance of the brushless guns. And I wanna see if this one can get it off. Again, this is the lug nut that I just put on with a brushed Milwaukee gun. This is the higher end rigid gun that you usually have to buy alone. It's not in many of the combo kits. It's more expensive. Not getting anything. I'm gonna try something else here. Just for kicks and giggles, let's see if this um, Ryobi brushless gun is able to do it. I did a different test where this Ryobi gun actually outperformed the, um, the rigid gun, which was kind of surprising to me, um, just because of the cost. These Ryobi guns are pretty inexpensive. This is the brushless Ryobi gun, and it has um, the 3AH lithium uh, plus HP, supposed to give it a little bit more um, power uh, battery type. Nope. Ah, I do see it. It is loosening it a little bit. So, that's another test that shows this Ryobi is even outperforming these two rigid guns. Now, I want to do one thing, one other thing, just to kind of confirm that. Um, most of these I'm doing assuming that the, the tightening torque is equivalent to the loosening torque. I would imagine with the same gun it is. So I'm tightening it back on with the same gun it was. Um, and I want to just see, give another chance for this, at least the more powerful brushless rigid gun to back this sucker off. I see it's not, it's not budging. If it's going to budge, you usually can see a little movement there. Um, like I said, with the Ryobi, it did that. Let me try one more time with the Ryobi and see if it <clears throat> really is able to consistently outdo this rigid gun here. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, pretty incredible. I'll tighten it down with the Ryobi and see if I can... See if I can get it off with the Milwaukee. See if there's any chance this brushless Ryobi has more power than this brushed Milwaukee. And this again is the brushed Milwaukee gun. It is not the fuel gun. The fuel gun's sitting right there with the high output battery. This one we know has beaten this competition. I'm just trying to see if the less expensive brushed Milwaukee gun is also still more powerful than all the others.
That's interesting. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. It was a close one, but uh, I was just testing to see if the Rayobi could put that sucker on so tight that the Milwaukee couldn't take it off. So, um, yeah. Fine. The, the tightening test is, I was just seeing there real quickly, that the Milwaukee is able to loosen to the same power that it's able to tighten. And again, it had a hard time pulling its own nut off that it tightened in. But I would say this Milwaukee and this Ryobi are pretty similar in torque. And the rigid guns have not been able to take off what this Milwaukee brushed gun was able to do or tighten on. The fuel gun was able to tighten so tight that none of the other guns could take it off. I think the Ryobi did it once. But anyhow, that's the inclusion. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you.